you like what you see? And I'm talking about the barbell. I can't believe that it's almost two years since the start of the pandemic. Now, I got this barbell in the very beginning when we realized that this pandemic was gonna last a lot longer than we thought it would. So today I thought, well, it's been a year since I've had this barbell. So we'll go over how it kind of stands up to the wear and tear of everyday use. First, we'll go over how I use this bar. Um, I use this bar for pretty much everything. When it comes to bodybuilding exercises, powerlifting exercises, Olympic exercises, landmines, and your bench, squats, deadlifts, uh, snatches. So barbell is at the center of my training. I also use this barbell with all of my clients. So they will do things just like I do when it comes to bench presses, squats, deadlifts, you know, you name it, anything that you would do with a barbell. So it goes through a lot of wear and tear. Not only does it go into my hands, but a lot of other people's hands. The knurling since day one until now has been spot on. I mean, it, I feel like it has just enough bite to where it feels firm in your hands. And, but it's not too bitey to where if you're doing something like a snatch that it feels like it's gonna rip your skin off. Also, like I said, this thing goes through multiple hands. So right now, there's like no fading whatsoever in like your common spots where you would grip the bar, like if you're doing a clean or a squat or bench press, which is right here, or a little bit further towards the collar to where you do your snatches. I mean, the color from one end to the other end, consistent. The best things I like about this bar is it's an all-purpose bar. You can pretty much do anything with it, going from bodybuilding to powerlifting to Olympic lifting, anything you would typically do uh, in your home gym or at a commercial gym, you could do with this bar. I specifically have the E-Coat and like I said earlier, the coating, it's great. There's no chips. So from just over a year of using this barbell, the only sign of wear that I see is just at the end. It's really just one end. You see little marks here and there that when we hit something with it. Outside of that, this bar has been rock solid, has been perfect for my needs and all my clients' needs as well. If you're in a market for a barbell, you really can't go wrong with this particular one. It's made by Rogue, which all of their barbells are made right here in the US of A. You know, after over a year of use of this barbell, the knurling, spot on. The finish, like new. The overall condition of the bar, it's rocking on with no problem. And I like this bar so much, I got a Bella bar with the exact same finish. Now, the only downside is the barbell itself went up $10 since I purchased it over a year ago. That's the only downside, but you know, everything's going up. The price of chicken is going up, lumber. So it makes sense that they're gonna charge a little bit more for their products as well. But, but with that said, this is a very fine crafted piece of tool that you'll be able to enjoy for the rest of your life if you maintain it well. So with that said, what are you waiting for? Go out there, I mean, go to their website, buy one of these and go lift. Or if you want, you can also lay next to it and admire its fine craftsmanship. So I hope you found the information in this video helpful for you to help you make a decision. If you have any questions or comments or anything, please leave that below and we'll see you in the next one.